All right, this is the uh, practice test for the Algebra 2 EOC. Question number 34. I should say this is the first practice test because there's tons of them now. Anyway, the question says, the table shows carbon dioxide concentration levels measured at Mauna Loa, Hawaii. The table there gives you the atmospheric carbon dioxide based on the years, and then it gives you carbon dioxide in parts per million. If it wasn't in parts per million, everybody would be dead by now. Um, use the line of best fit. That's a key issue here. They ask about a line of best fit, which means that this, is, this question is going to be linear. And that is like the worst attempt at drawing those letters on this board. I'm sorry. There you go. Better. This is linear. Um, which is the best estimation of the carbon dioxide concentration measured in parts per million in 2010? So all I'm going to do is take the information and punch it into a table. Not the one you're sitting in front of, probably, but in the calculator. So I'm going to make a list very quickly, more or less. If you're using TA84, it's just go into the stat, or hit the stat button, go to edit, because I want to edit the list. You may have to clear out some old junk. Just go to each thing and hit delete. It'll make it way faster and you won't end up destroying the entire list section. Uh, 1960 would be the first one. 1970, shockingly, would be the next one. Apparently they only go to this volcano every 10 years to collect data because, you know, why would you want to study volcanoes? Especially if you live right next to them. Anyway, that would be that section and then you just need to type in the second set. And I'm just filling time because this is the longest process ever. Note to self, next time make sure that you punch them in early. Things are going great. And the last one. I guess this gives you some idea of how long this question actually takes in real life. So now that I have them all uh, pushed in correctly, hopefully, I'm going to go back and check and make sure everything's written in right, because a couple weird things could really mess up your answer here. I'm going to quit out. Then I need to go back into the stat section, click to the right to go to the calculation sections. And this is a linear regression. So I'm going to go down and hit this. And this is what they've given me uh, for my type. So I'm assuming that the value that I'm going to punch in for my x is the a value. So it would be like the years. I'm going to punch in these values. So the and number I'm actually going to punch in is 2010. So I'm going to write out y equals 1.336. And the x would usually be there. And then minus. 2304.32. So what I'm going to punch in here is 2010. So I think I can make that happen. Go back to the calculator here and hopefully not kick it off. So 1.336 and in my parentheses I'm going to put 2010 minus, because it says negative up here, that makes your life easier if you just put a minus in, 2,304 and 32 hundredths. Hit enter. And you get 381.04, which looks suspiciously like G. That's all you have to do. If it says anything about the line of best fit, all you're going to do is a linear regression because you're making a line. You don't have to do any fancy tricks. Just punch it in. The x value that you're going to plug into your equation would be whatever data point they want you to use in your independent variable or your x or the first group or whatever it happens to be, and you should be fine. So uh, good luck.